Hello there and welcome back to my videos. In this video we want to speak about how we can make a custom uh, name for the collection and how we can make a custom name for the for the collection document field in Mongo Engine. It's not so hard and this video will be pretty uh, uh, pretty short and I really hope you enjoy that and remember to subscribe to this channel to support me and support my videos in the right corner below in the, in the thing and hit the like button and yeah of course smash the comments if you have any kind of feedback from me before we are starting i will just say we have taken the the files from the previous video where we are uh, uh, um, speaking about uh, how you can work with the uh, indexes uh, basically index in mongo engine uh, it's just speeding a process a little bit up i can do the same over and again but i think it's easier for you to see uh, it, it's here so yeah let's uh, beginning and i'll start with the field first we take the field here you can use the keyword called db field and then we can say uh, block uh, title test when you do this then you rename the title um, that, that's meaning we, we still use the post title and we bind to the single word here the title but when you're going for the odm it will translate the title to the block title test in the database so let's go in here and remove this so we don't have any kind of conflict and then just say save here and going inside you can see the block title test here is hello world and if we're going for the uh, indexes here we have the email no haha <laughs> wrong wrong so let's go in for the past and indexes we have status and jewel still so that's perfect now we need uh, to rename the collection so if you if you need to rename collection you still need to uh, working with the metadata and then you just go in here and, and type you need to type collection and then we can just say uh, custom post collection and now if I'm going down to, to run it again and it's like before I know I have uh, customized the, the collection name now but I still need to use the post in the ODM to, to connect to it and well, still the title but when I'm going inside and it's, it's landing in the database it's, it will use the custom post collection and the block title test so let's testing it up and if I reload this you should have in here custom post collection with something inside with block test and that's basically how it's working and it could be a different reason to do this I have done that before when I have a legacy system in my, my normally work and we have the you can see the slashes uh, the, the minus here and you can do this inside here so so what I'm doing I'm just translate uh, old database structure into a, a modern way to connect for my Mongo database and it's working pretty good and it's pretty easy and I would prefer not to use the, the custom name uh, if you don't need it because it can make a very confusing when you open the database but if you need it it's pretty simple to use and you can stay in cases where you really need that like me uh, and yeah so that's the video I will uh, love to teach you in the next video about how you can embed documents and how you can use this and create the documents that way and yeah that's all for me thank you so much for for having uh, your time to watching this video i really hope you enjoy and subscribe this video uh, my channel of course sorry and like this video and hit the the comments and try to to go in, in touch with me if you have any questions and any feedback i really love to answer you thank you so much and don't remember don't forget to share this video and edit for your playlist thank you so much and hope to see you next time